Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Let us continue with our accounting classes. Today, we need to dive deeper into the accounting process. But before we do that, I want us to understand the types of different accounts that we have in financial accounting. It will be a plus to us to understand them early enough, as all our recording of transactions will be directed to these accounts. As budding accountants, it's essential to understand that not all accounts are created equal. In fact, accounts are classified into three distinct types based on their nature and purpose. These types are nominal, real and personal accounts, each serving a unique function in the realm of accounting. Nominal accounts, also known as temporary accounts, are like travellers passing through the accounting cycle. They capture revenues, expenses, gains and losses incurred during a specific accounting period. Think of them as the accounts that help us measure the financial performance of a company over time. Examples of nominal accounts include revenue, Accounts, with examples as sales revenue, service revenue, among others. Expense accounts, with examples like rent expense, utilities expense, and other expense accounts. Gain accounts like gain on sale of assets loss. Accounts like loss on bad debts. Bad debts are receivables that cannot be collected or cannot be paid by customers. Next, we have real accounts which contrast with their nomadic counterparts and are like permanent residents in the accounting world. They represent tangible assets, liabilities and equity, things that have a physical existence or economic value. These accounts reflect the financial position of a company at a specific point in time. Examples of real accounts include asset accounts. Examples are cash, accounts receivable, equipment among others. Liability accounts with examples as accounts payable, notes payable, among others. Equity accounts with examples as capital, retained earnings and others accounts that relates to equity. Lastly, we have personal accounts, which are like the social network of accounting, representing individuals, organizations or entities with whom a company has financial transactions. These accounts keep track of interactions between the company and external parties, such as customers, suppliers and creditors. Examples of personal accounts include customer accounts, supplier accounts and creditor accounts. Kindly take note of their differences. So, we have said that we have three types of accounts. Nominal accounts, which capture revenues, expenses gains and losses incurred during a specific accounting period. They relate to financial performance of a business. Real accounts which represent tangible assets, liabilities and equity. Things that have a physical existence or economic value. They relate to financial position of a business. Personal accounts representing individuals, organizations or entities with whom a company has financial transactions. We have learnt about the types of accounts and let us now embark on the accounting process. I want us to be more practical as we learn and all through the accounting process we will have a practical or hypothetical scenario to support our understanding. So, we had mentioned earlier that accounting is a process and starts with source documents. Let's assume you want to start a business of making lemonade Let's give your individual business a name. Magdalene's Lemonade Enterprise. Let's also say your business start in January 2024 and in Magdalene Lemonade Enterprise you have borrowed a loan of 72000 from a bank. Maxim, the bank's issues you with documents showing they have transferred money to your account number. Magdalene's Lemonade Enterprise account with Maxim Bank. The document that has been issued with the bank is a source document. It shows the name of your account, the account number, the amount transferred and the period for two years repaying the loan at 10% interest. You also have 12000 as cash to add to the amount received from bank as loan to fund your business. You will use this source document to create a journal. 
The loan is a liability to paid in future and the cash you have received will be capital for starting a business. So, your journal will have journal number, date when it is created, description or particulars, and the accounts to be debited and credited as shown. Your journal will be as follows. For loan received, debit cash at bank or bank account with 72,000 and credit loan account or Maxim Bank with 72,000. For cash from your pocket or your savings, debit cash account with 12,000 and credit capital account with 12,000. The 12,000 is the amount you are injecting to your business, Magdalene's Lemonade Enterprise, so it becomes the capital or owner's equity. Remember the accounting process. Starts with the source document where we have used the bank document as original document to create a journal, which is the second step in accounting process. Our third step, which is creating ledger accounts, follows. And here we will use these three ledger accounts for the journal entries to be made. We will have bank account, cash account, capital account and loan account. The ledger accounts will be represented as below with the balances carried forward or carried down being the balances in those ledger accounts. These balance at the end of the accounting period must be reflected in a trial balance where all the debit balances must equal all credit balances. From the ledger balances, we see that the double entry concept has been applied where every transaction must affect at least two accounts, and for every debit, there must an equal credit entry. For example, if we check on the bank account, we debited 72,000 to that account and its corresponding. Credit entry was recorded on the loan account with 72,000. All debit entries must equal credit entries. The accounting equation assets equals liabilities plus equity has also been taken care of. This is verified when we add all the asset balances, cash and bank, which gives 84,000, which equals liabilities plus equity, that is loan amount of 72,000, plus capital of 12,000, totaling to 84,000. Ladies and gentlemen, that was for this lesson. And in our next lesson, we will record transactions to the books of Magdalene's Lemonade Enterprise and come up with more ledger accounts and see how trial balance will be extracted from the ledger accounts. Thanks for being part of the lesson, and see you in the next lesson.